Hey there tech enthusiasts, welcome back to ASM. Today we're going to dive into the world of chatbots for business websites. Whether you're a small business owner or working with a community organization, having a chat system with AI capabilities can be a game changer. But with so many options out there, which one should you choose? Let's find out. Today we have a very interesting table. It consists of four different tiers. The God tier, well, is basically everything you ever want or everything available currently, very self-explanatory. We have fantastic, again, not as good as God tier, but fantastic. We have the Mia and we have the don'ts, all right? So let's start with the first ones. Well, actually, how about we start with a chat base? I think I have all of them lined up over here. I will know when they end up. All right, so chat base was one of the first ones to create chatbots. This platform is fairly easy to use. You could connect the websites, you could connect your Notion. Overall, I think it's a good chatbot. It has all the important things. It has the leads feature where basically it could collect all the leads for you so you don't have to be looking through the scripts because sometimes you end up with many, many scripts or emails is actually like another job. <laughs> and you're trying to avoid this job, correct? So chat base is really, really good. I would say if I don't need any like advanced capabilities, if I'm building a fairly simple chat, for instance, for like my mom, a hobby organization or for a local shop, I think it's fantastic. Uh, and look at the pricing, hobby, $20, you get 20 message credits. It, probably this is as much as you need probably under $30, average business will be happy. What I also follow a uh, look at is the models, right? So for a lot of interesting reasons, well, sometimes the style of GPT 3.5 becomes like very boring, to be honest, to read to, because it's been around for so long. A lot of users use ChatGPT, so you kind of get used to that style. And sometimes it's a little bit annoying. Like I hate talking to chatbots at this point that I use as putting AI models just because it's boring, but it's just my, me, my personal opinion. So again, for an average person, this is a fantastic one. Let's see, next one, chatbot. All right, so this one is interesting. Looks about the same. It, I think it's kind of like the same as the chat base. Anything special about this product? Now let's see, benefits, features. I actually tried to use it, I believe, before, and for some reason, Oh, I remember the reason why it didn't work for me. Look at the pricing. The pricing is um, out of this world. For 5,000 valid chats, 1,000 is never enough. So you, you coming over here, 5,000 valid chats. That's that's a lot. I mean, even, even with this one, built annually, right? So it's really expensive. $160 for chat. Oof. It looks like chat base but way more expensive. Are they using any cool models? Large language models, again, most of them only have GPT-4 or GPT-3.5. That's why I'm not a big fan. So let's see where we have chatbot. I would say don't because it has the same functionality to chat base, but it's like five times more expensive. Next one, custom GPT.ai, uh, GPT-4 queries. Uh, 5,000 items for chatbot. Okay, you're getting more here. All right, open AI API, give you a compliant. So all of these features are fairly generic, okay? You could create all these integrations knowing a little bit of coding with other platforms fairly easily. So I would say not worth it, to be honest with you. Because like then the moment you push a little bit over Let's see a free trial. Let's just give it a shot. Okay, can we try create a project? All right, uh, monthly, okay. So I could only do it for $100, huh? All right, can't even try it without, yeah. You know what? Probably not a good idea. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just don't. I think it's great, but it's a little bit on the expensive side again. Not really clear. I'm um, not really clear as like what you're paying for. All right. So Intercom is one of those big companies. If you're already using Intercom, they do have all those features, AI features they edit. 
and the only thing that is a little bit questionable is their fin ai agent thing okay 99 cents per resolution could become kind of expensive but usually people who use intercom they already have pretty good budget so i would say they're good they do have a lot of interesting integrations and i think botpress is using intercom for their handover operations too so i would say meh meh they're good they're good enough you know they're good enough they do their job they work really well maybe like okay i'll keep it at meh okay could live without it you know what unless you want some sort of like advanced functionality maybe this would probably be here then but it's expensive okay just remember that bot press is very easy like I, that's why i have a lot of youtube videos on bot press and they give you lots of free stuff you get five bots for free 2000 income messages for free all this stuff uh plus the tables some people have a lot of success with tables some don't but here you don't even basically need to know how to use vector databases which are basically a way to store your information so it's not only just like keyword matching but it actually understand AI understands the meaning of the words on your website and then answers it as part of that meaning in the query so it's uh very useful most of the chatbots have this feature but 100 megabytes is pretty decent amount. I wouldn't say it's too little or too much. It's good amounts, plus you get it for free. So that's what I like about BotPress. You can build a lot of stuff and try different things without paying anything. Because initially when you're learning, you don't know much. Like all these other platforms, they're basically just kind of predatory upon people who don't really like you'll need more than a week or two to figure it out and they're already going to charge you a hundred dollars after one week so that's why i believe this kind of like free pricing is fair for this space okay it's fairly fair okay especially if you're a small business i would put it in the god tier because they've been doing great work and i think even if you ask me now to basically put a chatbot really quick i'll probably just use bot press because there are so many templates out there at this point, I think one of my templates is also there. So also really good is that I think here, as you see, it doesn't even talk about large language models they use. But in one of the videos I show that we could connect any kind of large language model to it. I could connect uh, Llama 3 to it. I could connect any of the fine tune models. So that's another thing. Anyhow, let's get back to this uh, wonder chat. Create Wonder Chat, hundred dollars. Okay, thousand. I think you could be okay with fifty. Actually, with fifty dollars here, team members one, chatbot. You know, uh, automatic correct detection, email receipts, AI to human email handover. That's weird. Why would you? Why would you care about that one? So, as you see, min minstall. They don't even know how to spell called mistral oh wow that is not a good sign when the company doesn't even know how to spell the yellow large language model names anyhow yeah again as i said earlier only open ai in order to get anything more than that you have to pay 250 dollars claude is not that expensive claude 3 is not that expensive especially probably they're using like the cheap version anyways so that is weird why would you charge so much Let's look, uh, let's try to start a free trial. A lot of times I want to know if I could, uh, if I could try to play with the chatbot. All right, we have Claude 3, it's beautiful. That's about it, right? So I cannot use this unless I pay, pay $260. That's just so ridiculous. All right, you could have all this functionality with BotPress for like 20 bucks, maybe for less, for 10 bucks. They only give you 20 messages. It's $100. And... I don't... I'd say, like, it's okay, I guess. I would probably don't. Like, why? And if you guys don't agree with me, put it in the comments below. If you had a great experience with any of these chatbots and you feel like they're, like, the bee's knees, please write it in the comments below because I would love to know 
where I'm wrong, okay? All right, next one. Voice Flow is a very close competitor to BotPress. They do have advanced features. For $50, you're getting quite a lot of stuff, to be honest with you. If it, BotPress wasn't available, or there are a couple of features that are why people are excited about that. You see, bring your own LLM. So this feature to bring your own large language model or fine tune your large language model cost what, 625, maybe a thousand dollars or a couple thousand dollars a month. In reality, I, in one of the videos, I show how to get that functionality for $7. I mean, that's how crazy it is. So in nowadays, generative AI is available for everyone. And as long as you have knowledge, you could spin it off and instead of paying $700, $800 a month, you could just have it for $7. Anyhow, so this is really cool overall. I like it. It's fairly simple. It's very pretty. I would say voice flow is one of the good guys. Yeah, they're, that's why they're so popular. They're very good. They do have some functionality that BotPress doesn't have, but I think it all depends on uh, basically case by case basis. But again, they're also a little bit more expensive and certain parts of it were much buggier on voice flow. I remember a certain application it would take me days to <laughs> build out when in BotPress it was probably take half time. But again, it's like very unique use cases is not everything, okay? So, yep, they're great. Chatlink. So Chatlink is a new one. I think they've been doing a lot of really good SEO because when I was looking for the newest and greatest chatbots, Chatlink came out. Looks really nice. Let's see. It does look very similar to BotPress and VoiceFlow. It's pretty much almost exactly the same, but like a little bit simpler. Let's look at integrations. KK, it's pretty good. Have more flow, all the important stuff there. Okay, monthly, you get free. 50 chats, 50 A credits, probably not enough. But for $35, you get everything you need. So for me personally, $30 is where it's like the sweet spot. Paying anything above $30 for an average business is probably a bad idea, unless you some have some crazy advanced AI interactions, but you're not gonna get that with the $30 anyways. You probably will have to go into like seven, $800 range and it's not worth it anyhow. But look, for $35, you're getting your Claude threes. Are you getting llamas? No, you're not getting any llamas. No llamas for this one. Oof. Okay, it looks pretty good. It has a Zapier connection, API connection, web widget. Even though I haven't used it, I'm kind of coming through it at this. I would actually spend time learning it. It's a nice competitor to Chatbase. I don't think you could do much more advanced stuff. Uh, again, let me know if I'm wrong, but I think it's very close to the competitors, yeah? Let's see, next one, noforum.ai. Pricing, 40 bucks, 50 bucks, okay. Usually when you do have a lot of lower quality traffic coming to your website, having chatbots help because chatbots create additional interaction with a customer and it actually converts pretty well. What I usually compare is where I want to have a website and I have like just contact form or I request a quote pop up without the chatbot. I, for instance, like I'll get 10 inquiries per day. With the chatbot, it, it adds another like eight or seven on top. So the incremental improvement of value for the money of your traffic is, is pretty significant. So I'm not saying that paying hundreds of dollars is not worth it. It's totally worth it. But why pay $500, $700 when you could easily pay $50 or $20 and get the same value even more? Okay. So that's basically a what I learned after being in this uh, conversational AI space for the last year or so. Well, since it was actually created. <laughs> okay, so lead capture forms, very important. Quick replies, I don't know, what is this? What? Auto-generated relevant reply options for leads in the chat. That is, and you're gonna charge for that? I thought that would come. CRM integration, you could create the integration easily with Zapier or Make using BotPress and or voice flow and be under $50. So that is, uh, it's meh. I wouldn't probably even try it. Again, if you're a big fan, 
tell me why I'm wrong. But I'd probably not even try it. Because it doesn't really have that anything special about it. Alright, so Dante. Dante always been kind of a little bit ahead of its time, I think. It has a very beautiful interface. What I like about Dante is that they give you more flexibility than anyone else. I wouldn't say like they're not like uh, they're not here, they're not the guy tier, but they do have fairly easy way to integrate. This should be enough for like a regular business, okay? But this is weird. Like you go from nine to ninety nine. Plus, you only get 3.5 turbo. The quality is not the best, okay? So if you want a good quality, you'll have to pay $100 per month. Okay, so I think it's good. I created a couple bots with Dante. It's very expensive, but it has lots of features. So what I like about it is because it's the, you actually could build a chatbot with the Llama. Yeah, I didn't believe that too and until I logged in and uh, here you go. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Ta da And then you get zero credits per response because they didn't better. But anyhow, this is amazing model. Like, I love it. And how much do I need to upgrade? So I have to pay $50 to upgrade. Another $29 to remove. Pricing is a little confusing. There's like so many add ons. It's just so annoying, to be honest with you. It's great. It looks really nice, but it's just so annoying. It would have been great if the pricing was much simpler and uh, it would cost a little bit less. I think Dante was always kind of horrible with the pricing. And that's why I don't think it ever really took off. It was very sleek from the beginning, probably one of the best chatbots uh, from like the design wise, but it was always overpriced by like three X of what it actually should cost. So. I love it, but for the price, meh, you know, not, not great. Lero, TDO, okay, so TDO, apparently this is a new player on the market, I'm not sure. If you guys use it, let me know. We have uh, 50 conversations for, ugh, you know what, actually. These companies are usually for like a higher level tiers, like it's probably mid-tier business, right? Not small business, so, all right. If you guys have strong feelings about TDO, I just found it in search. It's from what I see, it's expensive as hell. Probably meh. Chat flux, again, same thing. Uh, we have lots of interactions actually, but $10 a month, you could have a very shaky website, but it's actually good enough, right? Back in the day, this would have cost to develop something like this, it would have cost you thousands of dollars. Now it's only $10. So it's, it's hard to like, to hate this, okay? So let's say create new chat bot. From website, Let's see. All right, so similar workflow. It does look a little jank, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's a good it's a good mid chatbot. Okay, so if you have a if it was if you could start for free oh here you go 30 days free trial perfect 50 chat interactions all right so if you want a nice mid uh, chat button i think mid is good mid is here okay okay but it's it's nice it's kind of like uh can't yeah mid let's go drift okay so drift i used to all be a customer of Drift and uh, use their platform before the whole AI craze started. And yeah, I I paid something similar to this shit. Is it worth it? Not really. Yeah, I had to cancel it. What I think about them, very beautiful marketing. They do really great at like getting in, but I never really was wild by the product itself. So. I wish I could show you uh, the insights, but again, don't have access to it. But from personal experience, when I did have access to it, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. So this is it. This is my mid 2024 review of the chatbots. Okay, so 
Remember, the right chatbot can make all the difference in providing excellent customer service and growing your business. But the bad one will just waste your time and waste your money. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. So hopefully um, my experience and my knowledge of the space helped you make a choice. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. The next review will be coming up in end 2024. But for mid 2024, this is where we stand. Nice having you here and hopefully gain some value from this. Looking forward to hear from you guys. Let's talk about the tier boxes.